house, forest. They were nothing but stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they'd bend the knee. And what do I find? A child lord. Ethan the Bold. <laughs> With some parasite by his side. As if I'd come to negotiate. <laughs> and I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. That day Cersei dragged her before the throne, Grandmother, I was actually worried for her. But she didn't have any trouble swearing loyalty to Joffrey right in front of me. And then, after that whole business with Tyrion, I thought she knew how to stay loyal when it mattered. And then that letter she forged to Elena Glenmore, as if I wouldn't find out. It was bold, I'll give her that. But I can't forgive that she used me. And now, with all that's happened, the gods know what Mira was doing behind my back. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam, but I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the godswood. Yet before her day was out, my brother was dead atop the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I defended him to Frostfinger, and it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. He was quite the bold one, Rick. Trying to stab me with my own blade. And ruining Griff's little humiliation by climbing out of the mud again and again and again. I was rather starting to like him. A shame he didn't last longer. The saviour who couldn't save anyone. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was cocky, surely, but he wasn't unjohn. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. And he impressed me. He followed my every command, despite what it cost him with his companion. For that, he earned my help. And my respect. Loyalty. Friendship. Respect. Without them, we have... nothing. I don't know if Mira ever understood that, Grandmother. I know she told me the truth about Sarah, but she also broke a promise to Sarah to keep a secret. In the end, I respect that she was willing to do whatever it took to get what she wanted. But at what cost? I could have told you this story wasn't going to have a happy ending. Roderick dead, his mother dead, his little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, Father. I'm not unfamiliar with these foresters. Stubborn to the end. They fought hard, I'll give them that. But they were too bold, defiant when they should have been smart. Ruthless instead of shrewd. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost 